I am Jim Collison and live from our virtual studios around the world. This is Gallup's Call the Coach recorded on April 24th, 2020. Call the Coach is a resource for those who want to help others discover and use their strengths. We have Gallup experts and independent strengths coaches share tactics, insights, and strategies to help coaches maximize the talent of individuals, teams, and organizations around the world. If you're listening live, love to have you join us in our chat room. Right above me there, there's a link to it, and it'll take you to the YouTube instance. Sign into the chat. You can ask your questions live uh, there, and I'll pick those up for you. We are monitoring it. If it's after the fact and you have any questions uh, that you want to get to us, just send them to our coaching email address. It's coaching at gallup.com. And we have a bunch of folks watching that email address and they'll get right back to you. Don't forget if you're on YouTube, subscribe to us so you never miss one of these episodes. Hit the little like button that's down there as well. That's always really helpful. And if you are into podcasting and maybe your whole world has changed and you're listening to podcasts differently or you have a chance to listen to podcasts, we're available on any podcast listener or in listening app just search Gallup Webcasts, and we are there as well. Abby Gorenson is our guest today. Abby is Gallup's event manager here. And Abby, you got a big job coming up over the next couple of weeks. Welcome to Call the Coach. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here and to be talking with you about the summit. Um, I'm just so excited about this year's summit. We were had a lot of things planned, um, and I don't. I know we made the announcement on April 3rd that we had to cancel this year's in-person event in Omaha, which we are gearing up for, and change it with our virtual event. Um, at first, I mean, we're very disappointed because we love seeing our coaches from around the world join us in Omaha. There's so much energy and excitement, um, but with the health and safety of all of our clients and attendees and even our own people, we just thought this was the responsible thing to do was cancel the event and go to a virtual event virtual event because we also just didn't want a year off. <laughs> so we are, my events team is busy working on making this virtual event feel so lifelike, like the in-person event that nobody feels like they missed anything um, if you are a repeat attender. So one of the things that I wanna talk about, we made the announcement on April 3rd, that we're taking this event virtual. With going virtual, we did have to make some changes to the agenda. So many of these people on the call today may have been pre-registered and you would have gotten communication that if you had registered for the in-person event, we are keeping your registration live. We're pushing it to 2021 and we're making sure that you guys get the lowest rate for the 2021 event. So we're making sure that, um, and then with your registration, you also get to attend the virtual event this year in 2020 for as a part of your registration. So it's at no additional cost. So we're really trying to make it easy for everyone that had pre-registered that you don't have to do a lot or worry about a lot of transition because we know this isn't well, this wasn't an ideal change. Um, I know Jim, I was talking to you a little bit about it. If you are being moved to the 2021 event, do mark your calendar. It's June 7th through the 9th um, in Omaha. And one of the things that's really exciting is starting on the 13th this year, we we're Omaha is supposed to host the Omaha, uh, the Olympic swim trials. And in Omaha, it's, it's going to be starting June 13th. So for those of you coming in and getting a flight, you may want to extend your stay and, and partake in some of the swim trial festivities that will begin not only four days later. Yeah, Abby, um, that's, that's a big deal from a yeah. timing perspective because you I know, know we were the, really excited. The Olympics got moved, and so they, they got moved here as well. And they're back to back in that, and just a lot of transition uh, in the process. And seven, yeah. eighth, and ninth are new dates for a lot of people. That's usually you had to wait till the end of the summit to get those dates. You've got those right now. Yeah. So, those I'm going to make sure you mark that on your calendar. June again, June 7th, 8th, and 9th, 2021. Seems like a long time away, but I think it'll get here pretty fast. Yeah. What else do we it have? Seems now? like tomorrow for me, right? Yeah. <laughs> like it's already um, here. We're already talking yeah. about it. So with the change though, like I was saying, we did condense the three days for this virtual event into one day. So it is June 2nd. Um, it's a full day on June 2nd. Um, and I wanted to kind of jump through and just kind of talk through the experience and the agenda and how we changed that. We we wanted to make sure that we provided the best experience to everyone that signs up. And so one of the things that we did was we did condense the agenda into one day and then we condensed the breakout rooms just to make sure that we were um, having breakout rooms that would you would be interactive. First of all, virtually, there's nothing worse than sitting um, in front of a computer and just having someone talk to you and 200 other people and not feeling like you can interact with the other attendees with the presenter. So we want to make sure they're interactive. And then we also went through and wanted to make sure that 
the value with everybody, everything going in and on, we want to make sure that the sessions with the most value are the ones that we kind of highlighted. Um, we wanted to make sure that you were each of the ones that we were going to have, there was um, things that you could take away in today's world with everything going on and use tomorrow. Um, not saying that the other sessions didn't offer that. Uh, we just were, in terms of where we were on the process, we wanted to, to narrow it down and make sure that we had enough to support those sessions as well virtually. Um, one of the things that I did want to address that we've gotten a lot of questions about is the virtual day is 195. Um, if you were pre-registered, you can we are moving your event to 2021, but you can cancel um, and get a full refund back. We previously said that the cancellation deadline was May 1st. We pushed that so you can cancel up to the day before the virtual event and receive all of your money back. If you decide to cancel after June 2nd when our virtual event occurs, even if you don't log in or anything, we assume that you attended the event. Um, so we will refund the amount you paid minus the 195 cost of just attending the virtual event. Um, there's no additional discounts. To this so there's there is no certified coach discount we kind of priced it so that it, it it's a good price for everyone whether you had a discount or not um and so i know that was some questions that i wanted to address right away if you have any registration questions or cancellation questions please reach out to gallup summit at gallup.com i also have a whole team that uh, monitors that email address and they're really good at answering these questions and getting back to you. If you decide to cancel it or you decide that you may um, have registered and you want to cancel it next year because the dates, the June 7th don't work out for you, you can cancel it up to May 7th of 2021 um, and receive that full refund minus the 195. So that kind of outlines the refunds. I know we've had some questions and asked for clarification that I wanted to make sure I talked through on this today. Abby, there is a, a, some FAQs that are on the summit site. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're, if you need f further clarification, if you go out to um, gallupatwork.com and scroll yeah. down some, there's a, a FAQs there. And then, if you're, if you can't remember that email address that Abby just said, it's actually at the very bottom of the page. Just scroll down to the bottom, copy and paste that in. Gallup Summit at gallup.com. Uh, is the way to do that. Let's dig into the event uh, a little Perfect. bit. What, what's coming? Kind of to say to kind of kick off though what you said. If you have any questions, that is your your resource. We try to put everything on the summit site. So if there's only one thing you get out of today's session is remember Gallup at work, um, www.gallupatworksummit. No, it's gallupatwork.com. Sorry, I got my my a little confused there. So everything is there. I'm going to talk through the agenda, which if you guys are on this um, webcast you can click and, and kind of follow along with me um, or reference that at any point. What we are doing is, is on the day of the event, we're going to be opening the virtual, the virtual doors or um, like, just like our event in-person doors at eight o'clock. This gives you time to check out the virtual space. It's really cool. You'll see it will look like you're in um, an in-person exhibit hall or conference center, but everyone looks digital. Um, and then you'll get to see what the breakout rooms look like and we're starting networking right away. So part of this digital experience is, is we are creating different rooms in which they're like chat rooms, like we see everyone's chatting today. Um, but we're also setting up kind of topic rooms or, or themed rooms. So that way you can be networking. We're kind of helping set up the parameters. So we make sure you're networking with people you want to network, people that are in education, networking with other educators or people that are um, wanting to learn more about team coaching and things like that. So we're working on those themes. Um, and this is the time that you can go and explore. We also will be having demos going on like we do on the in-person event. So we like to use this time to share what Gallup is working on in terms of technology um, and what's in the, in the future for everything. And so we're, we're looking to still do this in just a virtual space. So that gives everyone time. Um, in the morning before our keynote kicks off at nine, we are going to have Jane Miller, our COO, kind of kick everything off and give everybody an overview of the day. And um, we will be having additional keynotes being announced in the next couple of weeks uh, here on the Gallup Summit site. Um, so that kind of opens up the morning and then we dive deep into the content or at 9 30 with breakout sessions we've had a lot of questions if you're registered when do i get to sign up for the breakout sessions i know you guys push that really hard for the in-person event which we do because we have capacities in the in-person event we have rooms that i get calls if we hit that capacity because they're against fire code and things like that in a virtual space i have no capacities which is probably the thing i'm most excited about because that means all of you can attend 
the breakout session you want to attend and don't have to worry about going in the system and signing up and reserving your seat. So we aren't having anyone pre-register. Um, we listed all the breakout sessions so you guys can get an idea of what we're offering and kind of have your list and, and you can change at any time. When you're in the event, you're going to see all of the offerings at this time and be able to just enter into the room. So no pre pre-registration for breakout sessions. Um, when you go look at the summit site, we are offering five different sessions during each hour time slot. And we group them to make sure that everyone um, has kind of something, no matter what industry you're in or what you're interested in, you have a session that we know pertains to you. So the groupings of our breakout sessions, you could kind of say lightly that we have a session that we know covers everything Clifton strengths. We also have a session that it covers leader and manager um, development and manager tools. We have one that is around organizational effectiveness, um, talent optimization, and then selection and kind of workplace issues. Now, does this mean that I don't that we don't have? Um, so those are kind of just high level groupings. But I would say in time slots, you'll see there are multiple um, sessions that cover Clifton Strengths. So just say just because we say like one is Clifton Strengths doesn't mean that we're not going to talk about Clifton Strengths in more than one session or talk about um, leader and manager development and things like that. So they do kind of intertwine, but we just use that to know that we for sure are covering high level. This is kind of the main focus of these sessions. Abby, let me ask you, uh, there's some concern and I've, this has probably been the number one question that I've heard. Are yeah. we recording everything and yes. is it going to be available to everybody even during the day when you can't attend everything that's going on? I could go back right later and view it if yep. I wanted to. Can you talk yes. a little bit about that? So I'm really excited. Um, all of our breakout sessions will be recorded live. And then after um, the session and the event concludes, they're going to on demand. So that's probably one of the biggest requests that we see in the in-person event is you guys offered 10 sessions during this one hour and I wanted to attend them all. Or I attended the session and I tried to write down my notes so quickly, but I, what did Dean say? He said like three things and I only got two of them. So we are recording them all and all attendees have access to rewatch or watch what they missed um, up to three months, three months after the event, um, which is great because I don't know about you, but I always like to throw something on late at night when I'm working to listen and learn. And so it's really, you're not paying for one day of learning, you're paying for 20 plus hours of content. Yeah. Is there any delay in that? Are they available immediately? So after the conclusion of them, do they come available immediately? We um, are still working through that. Uh, I think yeah. the, we're still working through that. Okay. Uh, we're hoping that there are immediately, but we're coming into little things where it might take to the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. There's some, so there's some rendering that needs to be involved. Um, what about, there was a kind of a question about uh, interactivity as these have potentially unlimited number of people that they won't be that like our numbers will set them down, but maybe for some of the big sessions, because there's so much people and so much interaction, will we do anything different for the bigger sessions than we do for maybe the smaller sessions just to be able to handle that? And let me say this, we're not using, a lot of people are gonna think they're gonna be in a big Zoom call and we're, we're not, it's, that's not the way it's gonna work, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, so uh, we are partnering with a virtual event platform um, in which you will walk into a virtual or digital space that looks like a conference center. Um, and it's kind of like our container, um, container, partner container technology. So when you go the, you'll see rooms that you will click and you will click to enter and it will say this session is around this. And then at that point you are joining a, a Zoom session, um, but it's set up in a way that you see the, the presenter. And then most of the sessions are actually working with the technology to then set up smaller groups within the session. So they're gonna have interaction time in which we automatically group you into smaller um, rooms so you can interact with a smaller group so everyone has a chance to talk and network with each other. So it, there could be 800 sessions, which means that we have that many groups of 10 or 800 attendees, which means we have just that many groups of 10 or if we have 50 in the group, maybe we only, we only have five groups of 10. Um, so that's kind of how we're running it. So every, it doesn't matter if it's a smaller session or a large session, you still feel like you have a chance to network with a small group. And sessions have been announced, Abby. So if folks want to go yes. see those, right? They're available on the website, gallopatwork.com. Yep. The agenda is yep. listed there as well. I think there's a tab up in the corner that says agenda and everything's listed there, right? 
everything's listed there. Um, and I was actually just going to kind of run through a few of the breakout sessions. Um, yeah. And also make sure you're checking back with the, the agenda page. Because like I said, we're looking to announce the keynotes on there. And we're continuing to update as we learn more and more what we can do with this new technology and, and continue to expand the agenda and expand the offerings um, to the site. So make sure you check back because um, that's where we're making all of the updates for for reference. But I know um, Dean is a very popular speaker at the in-person event. So he's one of the presenters for our um, first breakout session offerings with the Beyond Naming and Claiming Next Level Clifton Strengths Coaching. Um, we also have Jillian Anderson with It's the Manager in developing Gallup's approach to developing managers. And then with everything going on and, and change and disruption, we have um, Mara Hoogerhouse leading What Successful Leaders Know About Change. So these are just three of the, se the sessions being offered um, in the morning. And then we have one breakout session. Actually, we have two breakout sessions in the morning before we have lunch and networking. You'll notice between when you go to Gallup Summit, Gallup at Work Summit, um, that we are expanding the breaks in between the breakout sessions. So in the in-person event, we had 15 minute times for everyone to go to the bathroom quickly and get to their room and get their feet and scan in. Um, we've expanded those to 30 minutes just for you to, to be able to get up, walk around, stretch, get a snack in your home or in your workplace. Um, and also get a chance to go back to those networking rooms that we're going to have open and, and really get be able to start discussing um, with people and have enough time to go and make sure you are getting value out of your networking during this day. So that's kind of one of the changes we made in transitioning this event to be virtual. Um, one of the other questions, a couple of other sessions that I wanted to call out in the morning that I'm really excited about is we have Dan Malone from Renewable Energy Group leading helping employees create meaningful developmental plans, which is kind of an exciting session that talking that a lot of our attendees have been interested in in the past around development and how to individualize it, but then also use Clifton Strengths as a part of, part of that. Um, and then the strengths and competencies, which you know a little bit about, Jim, um, the what and how to break through development is another session that morning that I'm excited about all of them, but I kind of click, I kind of wanted to call out a couple that I think this group would be super excited about. Yeah, no, I think there's some great sessions that are out there uh, and available for folks uh, to, to look through. They're available for both going to be real in real time as well as after the fact. Um, Abby, we had a question, you know, um, a lot of folks love to come in person one for the networking. So mm -hmm. will folks be able to, how can they interact with each other or what kind of opportunities will be available for them to interact as groups in the software during the summit? Yes. So like I said, we have the networking room set up, which will be like chat rooms um, as of right now. So we'll have you can kind of create your own topics or we'll have topics to help with conversations. And then we'll also have open rooms for chat rooms if you have a group that you're wanting to meet. So we will have lots of chat spaces um, and okay. then interacting within the breakout sessions and smaller groups is kind of the key networking. Will they be able to set up their own if they wanted to do an ad no. hoc group? Okay. So yeah. just the ones we have defined in that. Yep. And then another big popular thing, of course, is being able to buy swag when they're here. Yeah. Have we, are there going to be opportunities to purchase swag uh, virtually, so to speak? Yes. So we are not offering um, summit specific swag, but we are working on um, and have nailed down. But I don't want to, we are, we have a date that we're going to announce the discount, but all of our attendees will get a discount on our Gallup store. Um, so that's one of the benefits of a ticket is you get an additional discount on the store. Um, but this year we won't be having specific summit swag. Okay. And, um, so we'll, how will folks find that when, they, when they get in there, what, what would they look for to be able to purchase from the store that's available? We'll have a link, um, within the event, just kind of like you would go to the store. So we'll have a little thing that says like, go to the store and we'll link you to our Gallup store, but you can start looking at the Gallup store right now at the products you like and kind of create your wish list. And then we'll be announcing that during the event, you will get a discount code. Yeah. And shipping continues to still be an issue and it will probably still be an issue this summer, right? When we think about that physical, physical items will be difficult to get. They're even difficult to ship in the United States right now, just to yep. be a hundred percent honest. So some limitations there, will there maybe be some digital, uh, digital items available? Yep. And so it's the digital items on the store right now. 
Okay. Um, so like you can, you can go and, and look at all those items sure. today if you want to, and kind of create your list um, just because we know shipping costs and, and that's kind of in transparency, why we're not having specific summit swag this year. It's just, there's so many things going on with um, shipping and all of that, that um, it was just, we just thought that that would be a easy thing to pass this year and yeah. not knowing I want to yeah. make sure it was a good experience for all of our attendees. Yeah. It's a difficult time for, for shipping at the yes. moment and, and that kind of swag, even to get it made. Um, there's I'm upset a question because my prime is not even getting to me in two days, <laughs> my personal prime. So oh, first world problems, right? We can't get our prime in two days. Right. Um, there was a question around the chat rooms or around the breakout rooms. Uh, when when they're in those networking or breakout sessions, is that audio and video and chat, or is it all just typing? Right now, it is all um, typing chat. Okay. Um, okay. We're like I said, this is our first time doing a virtual event, right. so we're still building and things like that. And that is one of the goals is to potentially provide video um, opportunities for chat. But at this point, we haven't um, been able to nail down how to do that. I'm not saying that it's. I don't want to plan for it, but it's not ruled yeah. out. But right now, that's not yeah. a capability. The app has always been a very, very popular part of what we do from yeah. a summer perspective. What are we doing with the app this year? So we were considering having the app the same, but the virtual platform basically has everything that, that the app would have. And with you guys being, with all the attendees being in this digital space and having things on your computer, we didn't think it was necessary to you to be logged in two different places. So we will not be having the app, but all of the features on the app will be in the digital space. Um, so you're not necessarily losing any value. It's just all in one place now rather than two. Yeah, that, that's that's super good. Uh, we're going to conclude with a special session I don't know. Yes. I don't know what crazy people you found to be able to do that, but how, how are we going to wrap this thing up? I'm so excited because Jim, you're wrapping it up with Micah and mm. it's always been one of our most popular um, closes to the, the summit. You've been our in-person close and, and ended it on a high note and you guys are ending it again on a high note with the gal that work virtual after party. So as much as we'd like to send out, you know, kind of celebratory things to each of our attendees, grab, grab water, grab your wine jump online with Jim and Micah as they um, talk through all the highlights of the day, like we would do in person. And they're leading one to conclude the day. And then they're also leading one um, at night for any international attendees that may not be attending the sessions live during the day. They may be doing them on demand, but then also want to join him at that night to talk through another recap. Yeah. And we just wanted to do it twice. So it's, yeah. you, you said you want to do it twice. I never say no to that. So uh, great opportunities. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, what are you anticipating when we think about between now and the summit starting, there's still some details that have to be worked out, right? As far as getting things done, as folks are interested in those, if they have questions about it, or will you be posting updates pretty regularly to the summit site? Yes. So we're posting updates. Um, we also, if you are attending um, or if you have registered, we have a plan to be sending you guys emails and updates to what the event looks like and insight um, so we can help you prepare and get the most out of the day. And then um, if you want to be added to like our summit communications, you can also reach out to um, our email address and we can make sure you're getting our updated, you're on our list to give updates for the event as well. So um, there's many options, but definitely we're posting all the updates on our, on our website, which is your first go-to. Yeah. John had asked a question about uh, the recertification uh, courses. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can, you will queue you up for our courses still available. Let me talk about the research really fast. So, it, it made sense when we're all in person just to do kind of a fast track research, uh, but we're not. And to do it during the summit time is another thing for you to worry about. Our research process is actually pretty streamlined and online already if you were not doing it during the summit. And so we're just not making any changes to that this year. If your time to research is up, you'll be contacted. We'll go through it. It it Yeah, it's kind of part of the summit if it comes up during it, but you can go through our pretty streamlined process uh, going forward. We are making some changes to that throughout the year. So depending on when that research comes up, we'll just kind of depend on how you do it. That's what's taking place then. So no specific research session, but Abby, are courses being offered and how do folks get involved in those? And is there any discount for those as well? Yes. So we are still offering courses um, and they're at, still at the 50% discount and they're all being offered virtually, um, just like our summit. And you can visit gallupatwork.com to view all of those under add-on learning. Um, and we also are still offering the one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. So um, during the in-person event, we had the unique opportunity to meet in person with one of our coaches um, here in Omaha. But 
with everything going to virtual, we still want to have that offering. So it was a 45 minute in-person meeting. We've expanded that to a 60 minute coaching call at a discount for our summer registrants. Um, and the cool thing about that is let's say you have something going on the day before, we're not requiring you because we're not in person to do them the day before anymore. Um, so if you purchase that when you're purchasing your uh, summit registration, we will work with you on scheduling that call um, at a discount over the next year. Mm -hmm. Um, there there then, were like some said, there were okay. some courses being offered that have been canceled uh, just because yes. of that. I think the millennials might, may, may have been one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are some things we were offering before. If they're not showing up now, they've been canceled. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. and um, all of our all of our attendees that had registered have um, gotten notification that that can't, that course was canceled. Um, and they have received a full refund. So if you haven't, reach out to Gallup Summit at gallup.com and we'll make sure we have you covered. But um, we have refunded all of the fees and um, notified all of the registrants. You, you do have a couple add-on specials that you that that maybe we want to talk about. Maybe now is a good time since we're talking about those. Anything you want to emphasize on that? Um, the, the biggest thing was just the coaching calls. We've seen okay. a huge people excited about the coaching calls, just in the fact that we know with the courses now um, in the past, if you wanted to do a coaching call and you want to do a course, you couldn't because they overlapped. So now you can do a discounted course before or after, and then also do a, a coaching call two weeks later, two months later, or whenever you're ready. Yeah. Are those calls going to be uh, a video or are they going to be just over the phone or how, how are we doing those? Do you know? Um, you know, that is not on... Um, yeah, I think we'll have to let Lisa had yeah, asked that question I'll in the chat room. We'll get back. To, we'll have to get back to you on those. So yeah. she had said face to face. Uh, Lisa, there's no face to face anymore. <laughs> no in person. That that, uh, that seems to be going on. Okay, let's kind of let's kind of roll through this value again of the, yep. the virtual ticket and talk, let's talk us through that as kind of as as we think about maybe wrapping this up. Yes. Yeah, so one of the questions I actually saw as I was talking is. Um, are there professional credits as a part of these sessions? So mm -hmm. yes, we are still offering professional credits. Um, we are currently, we had to reapply for those as we made changes to our agenda. Um, and so we are still in the middle of the application process, but we are um, applying with HRCI and SHRM. Um, and we will update our website with the, the hours that you can get. And like I said, with the in-demand or the on-demand sessions, um, now instead of attending, getting uh, credits for four of the sessions for each hours, you could have um, credits for the, all of the sessions, which would be 20 hours. For Abby, for many of our certified coaches, we do this for the learning series. So we submit them, they get approved. And then there's, if you listen, if you watch them live and if you watch them after the fact, there's different credits. That's an ICF consideration. We don't control any of that. But uh, in, in a lot of cases, you're submitting those on a kind of an honor system anyway. So we'll have that all outlined on the website as we get close. Yep. Um, and just like I kind of talked with before, I think the biggest thing we're excited about the value for the 195 is not only the network during the day and the, the day of experience, but just really the access afterwards and all of the learning that you're going to get, um, not additionally, um, three months later and the space will be open for you to access three months later. Um, you also have the access to Gallup Associates. So we're just like the in-person event, we're having all of our Gallup Associates join virtually. So you, you can connect with them and network with them and they're a resource for you during the event. And the insight to getting to see our Gallup technology and our, our offerings is something we're only doing within the event um, and giving demos and things like that for our participants. So it really aligns with our in-person um, event and the value of this is this is Gallup's stage. This is the time where we're trying to communicate everything that we're doing and offering and, and provide the best learning. We're just now doing it digitally this year. Okay, I got it. I got it. This is gonna. I'm gonna change gears a little bit. But oh, no. uh, Lisa has been wanting to know what are your top five? Are you getting any sleep? <laughs> how are you taking care of yourself? And are you are you staying sane through all this? How are how are you doing, Abby? I'm doing great. I um I have two a two year old and a seven month old at home. So even if this event was going on, I don't know if I'd be getting much sleep with trying to rein them in. But um, I'm actually super excited, and I just I, I am so excited about this experience that I just feel like I'm energized and just ready for the day to get here. Uh, my top five are. Respo achiever, responsibility, discipline, individualization, and positivity. So if that gives you a little bit of insight to me, I like to go at 200%. So this just feels like another day in the life of um, 
in my life. Um, yeah. But like yeah. I said, I think just the adrenaline and the excitement is um, keeping me going. And I'm just ready to ready to have this event for all of you. Yeah, no, it'd be great. Let's do a little lightning round with some questions here right at the end. Stuart says, do breakout sessions have printed materials? Obviously, what he means is digital materials provided with it, the PowerPoints, those kinds of things. How are we doing that? Yes. So we are collecting all of the breakout presentations and um, it's up to the speaker what materials are providing for each of the session. But we are making all of them available virtually as a digital download and things like that. That will just be like the app if you attended in person where we loaded them into the app and you could download them and print them on your own. Same same system, same thing. Um, and so you'll still have access to all of that. Where Ralph asked, um, could could you put the technical requirements uh, for attendees on the website just so they know the minimum requirements? I'm assuming that's coming yep. up as well. Yes. Um, my technology team is actually working through all the language around that. It's pretty simple. Um, it's as easy as hopefully logging into this call to coach. Um, and so there isn't a ton of technical requirements, but there are things that can make your experience better that we're working on putting up on the web. Yeah. And some, some basic assumptions, a uh, fairly internet. Decent internet connection, right? You're going to have yep. to have that. And some, you know, I think a lot of folks uh, where it's, where it's a little bit different, maybe where what you've been experiencing on zoom calls there necessarily, we're not going to have it. A, you're not going to have to have your video turned on. You're not going to be pushing your own video up, those kinds of things. So a lot less pressure from that perspective, as far as the technology of streaming the, uh, the video, the companies that we work with are very, very good at streaming them in multiple uh, resolutions and the ability to downgrade and some of those kinds of things as well. So it'll it'll be pretty it'll be pretty great and it won't be without its problems. It always is, but we have a staff, right? You're going to have folks available during that time to be able to ping and say, "Hey, I have a question. Hey, what's going on? Hey, some of those kinds of things." So that should that should make it. Um, and then Ralph, this gets us. We we've kind of spoiled the community uh, because we give them transcripts now for called the coach. Will these sessions, and it, that takes us a couple weeks to get that done. Will these sessions have transcripts available at some point? Um, you know, that's not something that we have um, on our list right now. Mm -hmm. We're trying to really get up our offerings in terms of the networking and things like that. But I will put it on our list um, to review to see if we can um, add that on or see what it would take um, to get those added. I don't have a okay. uh, answer for you okay. right now. Yeah, it's it's a lot more complicated. It took us a long time to get there. And so a little more complicated. Yeah. Kim, uh, there's a summary posted somewhere. So gallopatwork.com is where everything, go to the agenda tab, go to June 2nd, and that is listed there. And then just some clarification, do we have to pick and pre-register for breakouts or pick a session in real time? Abby, one more time to that. Do you yeah. have to? Um, no pre-registration. We're not having you pre-register. You get to pick, like I said, no capacity in the sessions this year. Yay. So you get to pick in real time. Um, and, and to be honest, if you are in a session and you're like, oh, I want to actually switch, you will have that capability. Okay. Um, it's going to affect your, one of the things that I want to call out is, is we are getting a notification if you attend the whole session for credits. So you will have to watch the whole session, breakout session to get credits for that session. Um, but you can move in and out as you please. All right. Well, anything else you want to add before we wrap it up? No, I just hope that I see all of you guys digitally on June 2nd. I'm Like I said, my excitement for this event is um, out of the roof. I think uh, I was really disappointed when we had, had to cancel the in-person, but I'm just so excited for this virtual event. And I think that we're not going to miss a beat and it's going to be great to get all of our favorite people in one space for a day. You can register right now. That is available yes. for you on the site, gallopatwork.com. Mm -hmm. 195 is available. You can pay for that, have that available. It's very generous refund as well if it's something at the end you didn't want to do, but it's completely virtual, virtual and available yeah. for you after the fact as well. Even if you can't make the June 2nd date, even if it's not in the right time zone, even like add in the add in whatever conflict that you have, we're recording everything for you. So it'll be available for you after the fact. Jim, I wanted to, to clarify, we do have the registration deadline um, right. of June 1st, just because right. at that point we have to move all of the da data into this virtual environment. So um, if you can't attend the day of, can't attend June 2nd, like Jim, you said, you can access it two weeks later. You can access it to, um, three months later, but make sure you register by um, June 1st. And that is also the cancellation deadline. Thanks. So you can cancel up through June 1st, but if you cancel you're unable to cancel after June 2nd for any refund. So <laughs> just want to make sure you get that information out there. To be really clear, like that's just the day before. Like yes. it's not, it no, literally it's the is before. just the day yeah. before. So <laughs> if you're still trying to, basically what that limits you to is you can't buy in day of. That's what Savvy's saying. You can't make the very last minute decision 
day of and get in. We at least need one day uh, for you to get there. <laughs> a but few hours. Get that out of the way now. Head out to gallopatwork.com right now. Get registered. Get in there. Get that paid for and have it done and available for us. And, and, and again, like if something does happen, uh, the, their, the refund policy is in place and will work there. Abby, thanks for taking the time to do this. With that, we'll remind everyone to take full advantages of all the resources we have available now. Gallup Strengths or uh, on uh, Gallup Access. I cannot stop saying that. On Gallup Access, <laughs> go out to gallup.com slash Strengths. And uh, we've got all that available for you. We'll mention it one more time. Gallup at work, AT, by the way, not the at symbol, but gallup at work.com. And uh, all the information you could ever want or ever need. There's an email address there as well. If you have questions, love to have you attend the summit. I'm Abby. I'm super excited. You know, I have been asking for a virtual summit since we yes. started this thing. And <laughs> yeah. so I, I hate it that it had to come under these circumstances, but there's um, always a good thing though, that comes out of things yeah. like this. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, is, is not great or that the, there's always a little bit of light. And this is one that I'm just, I'm super, super excited about um, this opportunity really. Yeah, we, we are as well. We want to thank you for joining us today. And uh, with that, we'll say yeah, goodbye. Thank you. Everybody.